that is sometimes the the state of delusion in female minds. I've seen JCS videos like the start of this. Do you know who else is hostile to the government? Fellas that have murdered their wives. I, I don't have respect for human beings, especially not homeless druggies, you know. And you say you want to make spiritual movement, but you tried to kill me for three years again. Okay? You're okay. fucking about me. Okay, so the, the answer. What the actual? <laughs> oh my god! Tell me what other reasonable conclusion there is to this that isn't that doesn't result in Jeff murdering this woman. Right, JF Gary Epi addressed the disappearance of his mentally handicapped girlfriend, Mama JF, and disclosed he is under federal investigation by the RCMP in a disappearance. Wait, 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 wait. RCMP? Is that just like the police force? Is that the Royal Canadian Mounted Police? Is that the red guys that wear red? They wear the red coats? Oh, it's like the Canadian FBI. Do you reckon they came in on horseback to tell him that? Anyway, right. There's some law here. JF Gary Epi apparently has got like this girlfriend that's mentally handicapped or something. God, this is like old, old drama, isn't it? Anyway, we don't need to go into the ins and outs of it. You get the gist. So apparently he is being investigated for his appearance. Let's have a look. Something. Uh, personal that I'm forced to talk about at this point. It's uh, I've been wanting to keep it relatively calmer and less uh, less public, but uh, I've been forced by the by the various events because people have discovered about it, and so I might as well talk about it instead of letting rumors develop and all of the. Uh, all of the messy information that can step uh, that can stem from it. Um, so yeah, it's the disappearance of Mama JF. Mama JF has been disappearing, in the sense of not leaving, uh, not leaving any contact, not leaving information about where she was. Uh, and I titled my episode "The Cost of Liberty" because I didn't want any of this. I'm just a family guy, and I've always been wanting to provide and secure for people around me. Uh, but there is one thing I cannot do in our society. I cannot stop you from doing crazy stuff. I cannot stop you from exposing yourself to risks when you say the words, I want to do it, when, when you claim your only... Okay, so sorry. This Mama JF is the mentally disabled person from all those years ago. Is that right? Am I understanding this correctly? Bertie, you are on your own and I cannot do anything to protect you. And so <clears throat> that, uh, I don't know if Mama JF is in danger. I don't know where she is. Uh, but at this point, I'm forced to talk about it because people are spreading rumors on the internet. Because So, so I, I'll just give you my... <laughs> okay, I'll be the one to say it, okay? I'll be the one to say it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny to assume that he's done something because of the circumstances. But obviously, I do believe strongly in the principle of innocent until proven guilty. However, that being said, I reserve the right to make my own opinion based solely on vibes. So let's see what he says. My perspective on all of this and... And, you know, people are, are accusing me of murder on, on the internet. It's like, you guys don't know. You guys don't know the police. I've been speaking with the feds on an everyday basis uh, for a couple of days now, for maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple of days. For a couple of days, I've been speaking uh, to the police <clears throat> on a regular basis. So it all stems from Mama JF, you guys know, and I've stated it publicly in June, she left. She didn't want, uh, she, I mean, it's not even clear why she left and she's done it in the past. You guys have seen it, who have been following the show for years. Uh, she, she wanted to go away. So that's. Most murderers talk to the police at one point or another. What are you trying to say? <laughs> 
Are we really saying that Jeff Carapi has committed that? She left. <laughs> I, I just, I've got no clue about any of this. That's all. Uh, we Let's have to we'll see what's Mama like Jeff. She wants to go away. She had done it once and had come back uh, to us um weeks after uh, and you'll remember she she came on the show on the day she came back and she said something along the lines of uh well i thought you want you didn't want to be with me anymore uh and so <clears throat> and, and i said to her no no you left of your own will uh but but she says yes and then she says yes but i thought i thought you wanted me to leave that is sometimes the, the state of delusion in female minds, and I can't do anything about this. I have zero control over this. If we were in the society, the Christian society of 1920, maybe I could file some report and say, hey, my wife is a little crazy. She's a little out there. Can I control? Can, can I own her, basically? <laughs> and I'm sure that, that there were... Uh, I mean, basically, you didn't have to file that paper in 1920s. Because in... in Bear in mind, okay? It's, <laughs> he actually means that. He's being literal. He's being literal there. I mean, I would imagine that J.F. Gariappi probably probably wouldn't be unopposed. To some sort of legislation that enshrines the man's right to fuck his wife as he pleases in in court. I don't think she's got Down syndrome. I think she's got some sort of developmental disorder. I mean, to be honest with you, if you can't control a woman with a mental disorder like to this level, I mean, you kind of, you know, I don't think anyone can help you. You've got to sort that shit out yourself. In the 1920s, this was called marriage. <laughs> But we are not in the 1920s, and we are in 2023, where uh, we have an experiment going on in society. What happens when you let these females do whatever the fuck they want? Well, <clears throat> what happens is that they sometimes make bad decisions. So um, in June, she left. and She left in June. And two days after leaving... So she left and she had a whole plan. She had... Wait, hang on a sec. So, okay, I'm just... This is all... The enormity of this is catching on. So he's saying she left in June and now the police are uh, talking to him about this. And he's, he's under federal investigation. <laughs> Let's hear it, out, hear it out because obviously you can't believe anything you see on Twitter. Something seems a bit amiss, I would say, in all of this. She had bought uh, camping material. She was on her way to some sort of survivalist trip, from what I understood. She's not some sort of survivalist. What? <laughs> I've seen JCS videos like the start of this. Well, yes, officer, as far as I know, she was going on a little survivalist trip, had a tenant and everything, and she was gone. I've not seen her for months. <laughs> okay, let's just... Let's just... Yeah, JC, yeah exactly. JC is going to have a field day with this. Look, I don't like... Jo Listen, even people like JF, I don't like jumping to conclusions. But it's fun to think about jumping to conclusions. <laughs> It looked like she was preparing for life in the wild. Uh, she promised me when she left that she would always be reachable and that I would be able to reach her to deal with all of the official papers. You know that she owns a lot of stuff and sometimes I need her signature. And I was like, and, and although, you know, we, we do have legal remedies for this. I was like, uh, if you totally disappear, you might put me in trouble on some bills, on some, you know, getting utilities and everything. So, so she promised to me that she wouldn't fully disappear. Um, okay. <clears throat> and um, she went away. And two days later, she, she talked to me on the phone and sent a message but by the way, everything I, I tell you is things I have told to the police. So it's uh, 
it's not uh there's no secret coming out that you guys are hearing to, it might be secret from a public perspective but it's all things that the feds have been knowing for a couple of days so the last uh, message that she sends me uh in june two days after leaving and it had been apparent i think i, I may have been in contact for a couple of times during these two days so I was sure that she was progressing through whatever trip she wanted to do. I knew that she was still alive. Uh, but two days uh, after leaving, she says, I have changed my plans. I will not hold my promise uh, toward you. I will not be reachable. And, I, and it's like, okay. Uh, I, uh, she says, I have a new plan. And... I'm like, does your new plan involve any sort of attack against me or the family? Because you guys know how, much, how important that is to me. She says, you don't have to be worried. My new plan does not involve you. I'm just going to change cell phone. Now, I knew that she had left without any sort of electronic tracking. You know how the police can track you with your credit card, with your... Dip <laughs> I'm trying to be, you know, trying not to be, you know, anti JF and be, oh yeah, well, he's he's just saying the most unhinged shit though. If you would say to me, what would a murderer say to cover their tracks? He's saying all of that stuff right now. <laughs> what else would you say? This it sounds terrible. Yes, she was going off into the woods. She had camping equipment with her. She didn't take any electronic devices that would make the police finding it any easier. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. A bit card. She had left with nothing but her phone. So when she said that to me through text, I concluded, okay, she's going off grid. You know, she's going full survivalism. <laughs> and kind of in her, in her fashion. I mean, that's the way Mama JF is. So changing her phone, to me, it meant I'm, I'm dropping potentially my own identity behind. I'm potentially disappearing in nature. Are they married? Or what, what's the deal? <laughs> Is that the president? Hey! How's it going, President Sunday? Hope you're well. Is he grooming another <laughs> disabled minor, or what is it this time? Well, this, one of the, well. I'm good, yeah. I'm good, thank you. We, um, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, because he is basically saying a bunch of stuff that makes it sound like he murdered this woman. I'm potentially, I mean, she could be anywhere from there. Uh, so, and that's what I was explaining to the police, you know, Mama JF. Uh, you, you remember the story she told on our video? JF Garepi addresses the disappearance of his mentally handicapped girlfriend, Mama JF, and disclosed he is under federal investigation by the RCMP. And he's saying stuff like, she went away in June. She looked like she was going to do a survivalist thing. And she said she, she didn't take any way of tracking her. Yeah. Oh, on Crazy YouTube, stuff. where she talked about crossing the border in, in Spain and in the enclaves of Spain in North Africa. Mama Jeff is a fucking extreme, like, 007 level of, like, fugitive mentality. Uh, and I, I was kind of telling that to the police, uh, jokingly, half jokingly, but it's like she she's a professional fugitive who doesn't commit crimes. <laughs> so it's like she's gonna be hiding from you as as hard as she can, while also not having anything to reproach to herself. Why would you say this to the police? I presumably he took the advice of a lawyer. I, I, I don't know how it works in Canada. I presume a lawyer would say, do not say anything to the police. <laughs> like, I don't know. Well, I guess he's not been arrested, so they're probably not going to say that. I don't know. Maybe give what help you can. Don't act guilty. Now, I'm telling you, if, if your partner went missing, you should seek the guidance of a lawyer only so you don't end up self-incriminating by mistake, even though you might be innocent, right? Because you might say something that leads you to get arrested or investigated, which leads to like a bad outcome for you. 
um, you know, you've got to be very careful because you might say something that an investigation points a certain direction and before you know it, you're on the hook for something you haven't actually done. But that's just how she is. So, I mean, she, she and so from there, I'm like, I'm going to drop myself behind. I'm going to disappear. I, you're not going to be able to reach me. So that is uh, what I've been knowing since June. And of course, you're faced with the big... Should I call the police? This is a willing woman, a willing adult woman doing her willing stuff. So I've not called the police because in my view, there was no evidence of criminality. There was no evidence of distress. It looked like to me, someone who has decided to go survivalism. Will I report someone for being survivalist? I mean, th this reminds Okay, what are they married or what? What is their relationship then? If he's just, a ha you know, if my ex was like, "Oh, I'm going off to the woods or whatever," <laughs> like, I'd be like, "What?" That's something I would do. absolutely. Like, you would. You just you you want to let the police know, hey, my uh, my partner or ex partner, whatever their thing is, is acting really erratic erratically and weird, and they said they're going to disappear. Are they married or what? I don't know what the circumstances of the relationship are, but it seems very irrational that you wouldn't try and involve the authorities in some capacity. It's me of the, of the Facebook post. You know, it, has one of your loved ones gone to survivalism? Has one of your loved ones bought too much camping material? <laughs> that is literally one of the Facebook book posts, but I don't want to be in the society where buying camping material gets you reported to the feds. And I am bound, I am bound to Mama JF Santeras because I've loved her and I still love her and I still consider, I, I consider myself allied to her forever. Uh, forever, no matter what she does, even if she goes out there going, getting other boyfriends, I consider myself tied to her forever. So at this point, I'm in front of this information, and I've decided that this was not warranting a call to the police in June. And I've spoke to her, I've spoken to her family, and they thought similarly. You know, this is Mama JF. Uh, <clears throat> she is an out there woman, and uh, it's not the first time she does this. Uh, in the absence of any evidence of harm June, or that yeah, she's, June. June, she's doing correct. something evil to someone else, that there's no reason to call the police. And in fact, we even had someone in the family uh, talked loosely to a federal investigator who was friends with us and just asking, you know, what is this? Is this a disappearance or is this just a woman? Uh, <laughs> Just a woman doing whatever she wants. And and, and the, the investigator had actually, I mean, from what I heard, this is not an interaction that I had myself, but someone who was worried in the family spoke to an investigator and said, uh, look, this, those are the facts. It's a woman. She leaves like this. She wanted to leave. She gets herself equipped with camping material and all. Is this a disappearance? Is this something we should signal? And uh, the investigator had said, well, no, this looks like a, a, a consensual trip. So I was reassured that not only was my judgment uh, converging toward uh, the fact that Mama JF does not need help and that she, she's a free woman, she can decide to do this. Uh, and also the, these, uh, there was these social signals reinforcing that I wasn't the only one thinking this. Other people were thinking this also. So that was the state in June and July. But then, you know, the months. Guys, listen, you're entitled to your opinion, okay? But can you stop? Can everyone stop saying he definitely killed her? Because <laughs> let's just calm down a bit, all right? Let's hear a bit more of his psychotic murder, murder style talk before we uh, come to that hard conclusion. That's and now we're in October. When is it that worries are justified? And so there was a building up of stress in the people who love her. 
And my position has always been to all of these people, to any friend of Mama JF and to any person involved, my position has been, I saw her go. I saw her wanting to, to go. And so I, I don't need to call the police. But if you feel that it warrants a call to the police, I respect you and you go ahead and call them. And I will not say who ended up calling, but someone, someone ended up noticing that, that somehow Mama JF was missing and, and, and maybe knew about me. I, I don't know. I don't know. So a third party noticed she was missing and thought to call the police. If a third party looks at the circumstances and decides a police call is appropriate, when this is the context, there's no way a lawyer would have told him to say all this shit. Is he a murderer? Is he, did, he, did he kill his, this woman? <laughs> did, he, did he do it? Has he done it? No, exactly oh, how fuck. Yeah, we got that happened, clip as well. Someone After ended this. up noticing, hey, there's this girl and her loved ones are... Let's quickly play it now, just for the record's sake. But in my case, I'm comfortable enough and Mama JF has left me with everything that matters in life, what matters most of life. And so what can I do? I cannot hate her. I cannot be frustrated about this. And that's it. So that's why I had to take three days total to... I, I made so, so much cleaning, uh, so much reinstalling, so much plastering of the walls, construction, renovation. I wanted to set the home in the way I like it. It's like sterilize this home now. I can walk finally. I can access everything. The fridge is super clean. It's so, he's saying it, making it sound just like he's killed her. I'm like, is he messing around? Is he messing with us? Is this an elaborate troll? The police are sure, if they're investigating him over this, surely they're going to be watching all of this and being like, if we as laymen are looking at this going, this sounds insane. She's literally in the walls. Her fucking head. Her head's in his fridge, probably. Don't know where she is. And so they made a call to the police, and this launched a whole investigation uh, that, has been, that I've been involved in for, I don't know, maybe four days, five days, I don't know. Uh, but the feds are coming regularly at my house. <laughs> they are waking me in the morning. <laughs> I, the fucking feds go to his house because they think he killed her, probably. Sleep late. <laughs> uh, and all, all of my loved ones sleep late. We're just that way. We are, we are computer programmers living in the night. You know, that is just what we do. And I'm a man of the internet. My show is at 7 p.m. Eastern time, and it's not even the end of my day. Uh, so, yeah, so they, they wake me up every morning. Uh, there are days where they come once, where there are days where they come twice. Uh, Mama Jeff has been found. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on, let's not be silly. Come on now. Um, there is always a truck of the feds um, in front of my house. Uh, and, you know, I... <clears throat> there, there's lots of people making jokes right now on the social media, like, Jeff, where did you hide the body and all? I knew that this was coming to this no matter what, because we live in a society that just can't accept the cost of liberty. The cost of liberty is you're going to have a bunch of females make terrible decisions. But no, I have not killed Mama Jeff, and I would be very surprised that I'm even considered a suspect. The cost of liberty. The cost of liberty is you're going to have a bunch of females make terrible decisions. But no, I have not killed Mama JF. Okay, we need some uh, analysis. We need some body language analysis on that. And I would be very surprised that I'm even considered a suspect uh, in any way.
uh, because I have left records, I have left electronic traces of uh, of my dropping her alive uh, in front of cameras of a of a gas station and there has been plenty of electronic records of the fact that she was okay guys what is this please don't link me random shit is this something to do with it or not oh it looks like it is actually <laughs> is this her RCMP have put out a call for information for a woman who it was last seen mid-June after receiving a call from someone they described as a concerned citizen. I don't fucking know. I just got linked some other shit, didn't I? Jesus, chill out. I know it is. I know. I know that now. But you told me it is. I don't fucking know. People always think stupid memes, don't they? But now this is the real deal. This is a high priority file. We make efforts to follow up with all known contact to that individual. We reach out and make sure that anybody who may come across them will let us know. I mean, he seems to be totally fine with it. What about her family? What about her, like, family? Do they, they must, like, be... Worried sick about it all, surely. I was alive many days after leaving me, uh, after, after asking me to drop her at a certain location. Uh, so, um, and yes, you know, there, there are so many cameras these days and credit cards purchases that I can prove. I would be very surprised that I'm anyhow considered a suspect, but... The feds are still very uh, thirsty for information, so they they keep coming back. And honestly, I'm very impressed by the quality of their work. But it's like they understand also that I'm I'm a guy on the internet, so uh, I'm not. <laughs> I have a high security home. I'm not going to let them in, you know. But it's like okay, they they want to they want every possible detail they can have about Mama JF because they. They are on this program of finding Mama JF, and and it's fascinating to see. I mean, that's kind of the police's job, right? Oh, someone's missing. Oh, are they? Let's look into it. <laughs> of course, they're going to fucking try and find her. This is like a missing persons case. See, a bunch of professionals like this who really are interested in her safety. Let me tell you, I'm okay. I'm a hostile to the government in general. Fair enough. But I I've always. Do you know who else is hostile to the government? Fellas that have murdered their wives. They tend to be quite hostile to the government because they don't want to get found out. It's known anyway. that within the police force, the vast majority of policemen are excellent, uh, just excellent workers and professionals. And I see it. I see it in my interactions with them. They, they understand everything. So, uh, yeah, so that means, yeah, they, they are coming to me and they want... They want to know exactly what she said before leaving. They want traces of where were you when you dropped her? Who could know her? Who are her friends? And it's like uh, I pulled Mama JF out of uh, out of a lifestyle, and I I never really got acquainted with this lifestyle. You know, I'm not the kind of I I don't have respect for human beings, especially not homeless druggies. You know. Tell you else didn't have respect for human beings. Hannibal Lecter. So it's I'm not the kind of guy who will uh who will approach a female and become friends with her male friends. Uh so what I did with Mama JF is I extracted her from her misery and from her lifestyle, and I brought her to a greater lifestyle, cleaner, uh, you know, less uh, less craziness uh so that is uh, that is what i've done and so when they ask me where could she be is she friends with this guy is she friends with these guys it's like i have just a general idea that mama jeff is a super social creature of montreal and that's what i've been telling them um 
and uh, yeah, so that that that's been uh, so the feds being extremely you know on their path of we need to save everyone uh we i don't think chad has seen the hazmat suit jf video i can't say i have no what is what are the police aware of this video that sounds like someone they might need to know about need to save everyone uh and and i'm like it's amazing to see the conversations between them and me because have you got a link to it i'm actually less motivated at finding mama jeff than they are i've never requested any of this i want to be clear if mama jeff is out there listening to this i want to be clear to, with you mama jeff i've not been requesting an investigation against you i've not been trying to send the feds after you I've not been uh, wanting to do this episode even. I'm forced to do this episode because there are forum posts right now that your face is on whatever the feds have published. And, and, so, and, and then people are, are, are looking at my tweet today. And exit is to okay. It is from a few years ago, right? But Choose your exit and re-entry lobby. Ideally, the lobby is an entrance that is blocked. Water will diminish the efficacy. Any surface of your body will be considered potentially infected. You thus need the following. Many other options exist depending Disinfected. on the biological washing machine inside. Put your equipment on and <laughs> put on your breathing mask and check that the valves are functioning properly. Come on, man. Put your protection glasses or face protection depending on which one you are using. Cover the top of your head with your waterproof cap. Finally, put your waterproof gloves going above your suit. Leave any groceries or material you have gathered outside on the floor. We will deal with those last. Deposit items that were in contact with the outside such as car keys and wallet inside your Rub in oh, man. with your gloves between your fingers and gloves. Dispose of final part of it and not the, the more air displays the, the outside of your suit or gloves. Okay, I think we all know what to think about that, don't we? <laughs> Informing people about this <laughs> and, nuts, and they're like, well, look, he, he calls her Mama JF. He doesn't even call her by her real name. So he's not really interested at them finding her. It's like the, there's a lot, a lot of interest to wade in here. First, by naming Mama JF a way that I've never named her publicly, I would only be misleading people. The fact is everyone who interacts with me through this platform knows Mama JF as Mama JF. So the, that's her name for you guys. I'm not going to reveal her real name because honestly, I, I don't even know if she wants to be found and that is something you have to wait when i don't even know she wants to be found you should all stop looking for her wherever she is she's gonna be happy she's gonna be very happy there no need to track her down okay what are these say man does, does Mama Jeff really have an issue with no white guilt or is she just fooling around? She has an actual issue. I need to go. <laughs> don't, don't say anything violent. No, I won't. What do you have to say? No, I get seriously. You tried to kill me again. Okay. And I'm fucking sick that you're fucking me with me. You always follow me everywhere. And. <laughs> All right. And you say you want to make spiritual movement, but you fucking tried to kill me for three years again. You're fucking okay. like about me. Okay, so the, the answer. What the actual fuck, man? Oh my god. So again, it's the police immediately. Jesus Christ. The super chat. She was smiling the whole time. Are you a fucking idiot? It's because she can't express emotion properly because she's disabled or something. I don't know. But obviously she's very distressed regardless of what her face looks like. Is that Mama JF mistakes no white guilt for someone who has committed acts of violence against her. No. So that's why you see her currently sad.
She so she is legit. Mama Jeff has been the victim of an act of violence. This was not by no white guilt at all. She is confused, and because she is confused, she associates no white guilt with. Oh, he sent it like it is. Okay, now I told her to not come back. You don't come back. Okay, I'm starting to become convinced now. I'm starting to think less of him as just a racist and more as maybe maybe a murderer, even. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> when, when you're in this situation, I am a bearer of the interest of Mama JF. Maybe she doesn't want to be found. Maybe she, she's on a huge trip, uh, whatever, thinking, uh, going to parties. Maybe she's going to Woodstock in the US. I, I have no clue. But maybe she doesn't want to be found. And that's part of her liberty that I have to defend. I'm not going to, uh, not going to act like these uh, worried families who want to help someone more than they want to be helped. Because one thing I have learned at enormous cost in my life is don't help someone who doesn't want to be helped. And so I, I'm, I'm like to these feds, I'm like, please, please understand, you're going to pursue a fugitive who has committed zero crime. She's going to be, she's going to be playing with you, sending you on false traces. She's going to have her hoodie hiding herself from facial recognition cameras okay i watched a short clip of her what's wrong with her brain make he's making it sound like she's fucking jason bourne i don't know if she didn't give me that impression when she spoke just then fucking hell as everywhere she enters she has dropped all of her electronics behind she's basically zero zero seven but she has no mission and she's not fleeing you guys for a crime that she did because she's a good person. She's not going to commit a crime. That's when I came in this morning at about 1030, I saw those graffiti. I looked up the name and make ethno states. Uh it looks like a male, but I have a feeling it's a female, especially it's written in pink. And uh, that's her there, is it? Well, especially looking at the camera at the uh, front of the building, the writing, uh, the person completed the graffiti, wasn't happy about it because they left and came back and put a heart. Maybe they didn't want. Okay, wait, and so, okay, so it's like 1488. I said, which is, we know what that means. Hail Worski. It is actually, I didn't know what it was about. And uh, save Richard Spencer. Um, it's always frustrating. You got to paint over again. I looked up JF Gary Epi, King of the World. Right, okay. So she's like obsessed with him, basically. Okay, well, the evidence is stacking up against our boy JF here, isn't it? The situation. You guys want to have fun finding her to be sure that she's safe? You go ahead. But uh, I know, I know Will when I see it, and her will was to go out there and and for whatever period I, I didn't know when she left whether it would be a two-week period like last time or whether it would be a two-year period <clears throat> she could be on a container traveling toward morocco right now and she she could have dealt uh she could have dealt with the locals at the port she could have talked to a, a boat driver and give him some money and get on the boat who the fuck knows i mean and so that is uh that is the situation and to to people who are saying well he doesn't make all efforts to find her 
he doesn't name her in her tweet or he doesn't show a photo of her. I'm not going to show a photo of her or name her when this is not my quest. This is not my quest. I but if you care about this person, you would make every effort possible to try and figure out what is happening, what is going on. Would you not? like? <laughs> it's just like such basic shit. God, you guys have got all the fucking links, haven't you? I can't answer that. I gave in before. Uh, I had um, a bad life. But then after I discovered GF, then I started to look at GF every day. I was always looking at GF. I became crazy. I lost everything I had. I lost my job, my family. I quit school. I lost everything. I was just looking at GF all the time. I was crazy. And then after I wrote to him, I said, GF, I want to suck your dick. <laughs> and then he <you> called me. <laughs> and that's my background. You. You left. You lost your job because you were addicted. I lost everything. You lost everything, everything because you were addicted job. to my shows. <laughs> yeah, I was just looking at your show all the time. Even I had a, a job, and I, w I was going to hide in the bathroom to listen to your show. And I was <laughs> then my boss said, "Why are you always disappeared for ten minutes?" <laughs> then he fired me. I lost everything, my family, my friends, everything, because I was just looking at GF show all the time. <laughs> You've never told me that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> that is some dedicated fan right here. <laughs> that has anything to do with me being on the show. Okay, I just... I had... A, I had a visual confirmation from Mama JF live in front of me that she wanted to go away. But as far as I'm concerned, she's still in a trip. She's still out there just tripping. And, uh, uh, and I'm not going to publish her image because I don't know whether she consents to it. I'm not going to name her name because I don't know if she consents to it. If she wants to call me and say, Jeff, I want to be found, or Jeff, I... I think this is probably the first time that Jeff has ever considered this person's consent, from the sounds of it. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> Some of these clips are crazy. Don't want to be found. She could do it, and she can do it. So, yeah, uh, what I said in my tweet is, if you guys want to help the police, and you've seen Mama Jeff somewhere, you... You've seen her at a gas station. You've seen someone who looks like her. You just call the police or, or check my tweet and you will find a Proton Mail uh, email address. If you don't want to be in contact with the police, just send me an email and I can relay any information that I think is relevant or factual. I'm not going to relay trolling so you guys can already forget the idea of trolling me. Uh, I'm going to relay what seems to be uh, what seems to be important, but it's probably Mama JF is out there having fun, uh, probably exposing herself to huge risks. You know, the the risks of street life and anonymous life. When no one is there to care for you, you are at risk because no one knows. No, no one knows if someone has raped you and just put your body in in a ditch <laughs> and no one is there to check that, that's the consequence of anonymity that's the consequence of having no one that is the cost of liberty but we've chosen to and mama jf has fully chosen to to run with that cost this video is going to get played in court isn't it i'm sure of it I tell you what, if JF gets a fucking, if there's something happens with this, it's going to be great drama. As tragic as it is, as tra as tragic as it is, this would be absolutely outstanding drama if this goes further. I know people are saying, "Oh, she's French Canadian." 
Yeah, but you can hear in the way she's speaking that she clearly has got some sort of speech issue. Like, it's not like she's speaking... Like, XQC is, is indecipherable because of the way he speaks, not because he's retarded in the same way, at least. So it's like, she has her husband right here, ready to care for her, ready to give her security and comfort and not demanding anything from her. She chose to expose herself to whatever risk it is, and she totally has the right to do so. Uh, Shadow Ban says, if someone could get away with murder, it's JF. But if someone could get away with faking their death, it's Mama JF. <laughs> that is absolutely correct. I mean, you, you, you have found an interesting duality right here. Uh, yeah, I know, exactly. <laughs> it's like, you know, there's a reason that James Bond and Jason Bourne and... Uh... You know, Jack Ryan or other other spies and, and agents of fiction don't have mental disabilities because you need to have a lot about you to be able to evade authorities. And even, okay, let's say that he hasn't killed her, which is a slim possibility at this point, I would say. The fact that he has just allowed this person who clearly has been in a long-standing relationship with to just disappear and not make any effort to follow it up or report it because he doesn't like the feds. And he thinks that's what she wants. Like, is she is she capable of looking after herself? So this is the same woman that he's been with that was like, you know, he took away from the family all those years ago. And she's been with him ever since. Where's she getting resources to survive? Like, what? This is wild. I just can't believe what I'm... No, this is... Potentially a confession, then. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm, I'm torn. I'm like, okay, it seems crazy to say that he's done something like that because it seems excessive. But then I watched the clips and I'm thinking about it all, and it's like she clearly is not really that capable of looking after herself. Not only was he permissive about disappearing, but he's saying things that are just exactly what a fucking murderer would say, <laughs> in my mind. Fuck Absolutely, me. totally the style of Mama JF to basically fake her death or to just disappear in a way that she can switch identity i mean she's uh switch identity how a well connected well put together person working at full capacity would find it extremely difficult to fake identity what with new measures that governments take to prevent that from happening right have you seen a passport recently it's full of it's full of fucking different things to stop you from faking that shit how the fuck are you going to fake an identity and live a normal life or try and live a life in normal society? even wait for the legal battle with his third wife to be over before he began a relationship with a 19 year old girl suffering from autism. As you probably could have guessed, this didn't go well. If you have to tell the Daily Beast that, well, she did have a communication disorder, but she's totally able to consent to having a child, that's probably a firm indicator that you're an asshole. The I, sh I should watch it. It's back when Diorio still made content. No, it's fine. It's fine. There's plenty of links to be had, okay? Let's just let's just try and get through this, though. And it's amazing because Mama JF doesn't watch movies like CSI and 007. Or, uh, she doesn't watch James Bond and gets excited at it. But her life is a James Bond movie of its own. <laughs> that is what is so amazing. Holy shit. What a, what a crazy woman who... But you know, out of the crazy woman who have been in my life, uh, she has always been um, morally straight, you know? Uh, yes, all of this disappearance uh, is causing some kind of shake-up and chaotic thing in my life. I mean, I'm getting woken up by the feds every morning. They're, they're knocking at my window and I'm like, what? <laughs> I mean, you know, we're supposed to, you know, you can just look at the information alone. So we're simultaneously supposed to believe this person is a James Bond tier operative that can evade government authorities and have a false identity. But then in that news report, she was just 
spray painting a wall completely visible to a camera that was right there. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's tricky because, you know, I'm trying to think, well, you know, you don't want to jump to conclusions and, oh, the, the feds are coming around and waking you up to interview you. Like, these are obviously, though, not signs of innocence. It's at least very suspicious. He fucking killed her, hadn't he? Come on. There, let's be real for a second, right? Let's put aside, let's throw caution to the wind, okay? Let's throw caution to the wind. There's at least a 90% chance that he's fucking done her in. At least, this is insane. This is like a, a confession we're listening to, and he's so happy and excited about it all as well. <laughs> but I, I'd much rather this than uh, than evil stuff, than attacks on loved ones. I would much rather the chaotic nature of Mama Jeff, but with a kind of moral pillar to it than uh anything uh anything else anything more evil forex says often when worried families get the state involved to save or help someone they make it significantly worse for the person there is very little help the state can give to a person against their own will that is very wise and that is what i was telling the policeman you know wherever mama jf is it was our choice to be there and it was our choice to run these risks and she would hate it to hear that all of these people are looking for her so now there's a whole national campaign you go ask yourself officer officer maple, maple leaf you must ask yourself would, would she really want you looking for her is that genuinely what she would want are you respecting her wishes by trying to track her down i would say that it would be most respectful to her and her memory, I mean to her as a person, would be to just forget about her and not chase her down at all. I feel bad for having so much fun with this because if it turns out she did it, I'm going to feel pretty bad about the proceedings. <clears throat> to find Mama JF, and I will ask Mama JF and you guys, just to calm all these people, can you please collaborate? Like, go ahead and just, just if you've seen Mama JF alive and you can reassure everyone and you can calm these people and you can make so the feds don't knock on my door on an, on an everyday basis, that would be very appreciated. Uh, as far as I know from this investigation, as far as my interaction with the police, I understand it to be they are not interested in any form of persecution of me of mama jf they are just interested at establishing that mama jf is alive so mama jf uh, if you hear this uh you have a chance there to calm all these people down uh only with a word from you i'm sure they would be reassured uh, Silver Spider says jf is such a loyal guy i really hope he finds a loyal wife we should pull all of our super chats together and order him one from Japan. Well, talking about wives from Japan, I mean. Yes, Martin Shkreli. Oh, my God. <laughs> he scored. He scored the... Uh, ultimate jaw having asian i have never seen this ladies and gentlemen the sexy body of the neotenic asian combined with the perfect jaw of the european genetics it's always quite reassuring to listen to an actual full-blown race realist talk about it i'm like okay yeah I might have some spicy opinions and some jokes sometimes, but fuck me, this is actual proper racism right here. How? How the hell, where the hell does Martin Shkreli find such perfection, Tiffany Fong? 
is new girlfriend of Martin Scratty. Yes. Oh my God. I'm so happy for you, Martin. I'm so happy. Uh, Daryl says that's almost too much. Ja I mean, th this is the point at which uh, it's almost there. Uh, Balloon Nut says, uh, sends 10 bucks. Thank you so much. He says, Are you serious? Did Mama JF really leave the family for no other reason than to be a drifter? I mean, it looks like it. It looks like it. Um, <laughs> I mean, you. You guys know we have seen her here on the show uh leaving uh back like a year or two ago and we have seen her again disappearing and you know just just before she left in june i remember a bizarre show a bizarre show where i accused her of terrorism uh because she tried to enter the studio with something that I do not allow at all on this show, like at all. And she knows it very well that there will never be such things on this show. Drugs, gun, Nazi uniform. <laughs> And she attempted to surprise me by surprise opening the door of the studio and came running to my camera. And I had the, I had the chance to turn off the camera just before she arrived to me because it's like... The two theories are gun or their child. It's like two meters. That she did a two okay. meter... Oh, that makes sense, doesn't it? Not wanting to have your kids on stream. I mean, in fairness, he might be a murderer. Um, however, that is the correct decision. Run to try to violate one of the ultimate rules of the show, a rule so intense that you guys cannot even ever hear it. That you guys cannot e that I can cannot even tell you what the rule is. Uh and it's like and then I said, Mama JF, uh, you, you're banned from the show for a couple of weeks because that was actual terrorism. Uh, you have attempted to terrorize me. And uh, yeah, so, so that was... Uh... It sounds, well, regardless of anything else here, like the entire relationship sounds insanely dysfunctional. I hope the children are okay. Well... <laughs> Your mum's this woman that's disappeared and your dad's J.F. Gary Epi. I don't know. <laughs> she disobeyed him. I mean, I've watched a few things ages ago of this guy and never really watch him or engage in him that significantly. Uh, that was maybe yeah. weeks before she left. Crazy, crazy um... shit. I don't know that it's directly related, but I think that she was starting to kind of be in a mood of party. And in her party mood, she had forgotten that there are serious rules in Papa JF's uh, house. Uh, so yes, that is basically all I have to say. And this story is so waiting on my mind that uh, I don't think I can... Uh, I don't think I can continue the show tonight with news or stuff of uh, of a frivolous nature. That this is too much on my mind, and that is why I had to take a break. Also, two days ago, it's because, man, uh, just waking up early is something that I had the privilege in my life to attain such a degree of luxury that I can. Yeah, but why? But why? I mean, I understand talking about it. But to talk to this this level, this detail, like he's incriminated himself enough if he is incriminating himself here. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with the kids. That's, none of this makes sense. Can you give us a conclusion? I mean, it, my serious take is it's impossible to, to come to any conclusion. There's not enough information. But as a gut feeling, yeah, this dude did a murder. 
as a as a gut feeling, yes, obviously. <laughs> I think everyone's on the same plate. At the very least, even if you don't want to get on board with that, the idea that his partner went missing in June into the woods to do some sort of survivalist thing, not to return and then not to bring that up to anyone is un un unsoundly, you know, unsightly levels of, of suspicious. Like, it's, you know... <laughs> Yeah. Got to be one of the craziest. And wake up whenever yeah. I want, whenever I feel like, all the time. But for four or five days, I'm point. back to a, you know, waking up at 9 a.m. Uh, because the feds are, and they, they knock for a long time, you know, <laughs> before they wake me up. Uh, so it's been, uh, it's been tiring me because when you, when you change my sleep schedule where I'm super used to this very long sleep where I'm fully rested, now suddenly you, you mess up my normal sleep and suddenly I'm more tired. Uh, so any information would be appreciated to calm all of these people. And uh, it will have been a short show for tonight, but um, that's all I have to say. That's all I have to say. Uh, I can read actually what I wrote today on Twitter. The police in Canada is looking for Mama JF because in true Mama JF fashion, she has left our home in June and has disappeared from the map. I am sure that Mama JF is fine. I know she has been safe for at least two days after I dropped her where she wanted in June. Mama JF left our home entirely voluntarily no, 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 no. She's been missing since June. Well, he dropped her off in June and then... Wait, so he dropped her off as well? Wait a second. This guy's like, why am I a suspect in this? You were the last person to see her before she went missing. God, why would the police possibly suspect this man? to go live a life of adventure wherever it would bring her. Uh, but since she has electronically disappeared, not connecting to her cell phone or updating me or f her family, I ask anyone who would have encountered her to just notify the police so that they can know she is safe. And I ask her if she wants to leave a note to the police, me or her family, to ensure everyone of her safety. If you want to send an encrypted tip anonymously, I can receive them at jfgaryep at proton.me. And uh, someone was asking, did everyone's girl lose her shit this summer? Mine went full postpartum bunkers in August. And I said, that's the cost of female liberty. 50,000 policemen, full-time salary, nationwide searches. We could feed the homeless a billion times. Why is it, why is JF acting like this is the cost of female liberty as if it's perfectly normal and standard in our society for a woman to, to you know, according to his story, go into the wilderness and just disappear? <laughs> what the fuck? This is not standard woman behavior. That's not what women do. Also, yeah, this is not the average woman if she's got these mental disabilities, nice. apparently. Uh, <laughs> just take our society and just allow some degree of control by husbands onto their wives. Just basic control of some little financial aspects. So, oh, yeah, like, watch, no, yeah. you won't travel to Peru. And so I'm going to decide for you that you won't travel to Peru. Just allow some form of control of husbands over their wives. And you're not going to get evens like the Mama JF craziness here. But if you want that female liberty, Papa JF can provide. And because we are in a liberal society, yeah, I'm going to stand by the ideals of our society. And the ideals of our society first is... I cannot keep a woman against her will. I cannot, I cannot go against her request. I cannot intimidate her 
to stay with me. I cannot manipulate her emotionally to be one way or another. And so what are the tools I have left as a man? The tools I have left is, all right, I respect your liberty. You, you want to go out there and do, do your crazy lifestyle? Where do you want me to drop you? I, I will drop you in the safest way and place I can. But that is all I can do. And that is the cost of liberty. Thank you so much for listening, everyone. And much love. Uh, I'm personally... Dropped it uh, off as well. Like... Very confident that this is a, a big scare. And I hope that Mama JF understands that she is causing too much scare. So... He... If I'm, if I'm understanding this correctly, he was the last person to see her before she went missing. Is that, am I understanding that correctly? <laughs> According to his own words. There's a digital trail, but the pro well, the problem with the digital trail is that could potentially be, you know, fraudulently concocted, can't it? Like, you could get someone's phone and send messages. I mean, this is like a, a thing that happens sometimes where... You know, someone will send messages from someone's phone to make it look like they're still communicating. He dropped her off and there are cameras around. Well, there must... I mean, I'm sure the police are looking into it. I can't imagine the police are going to leave any stone unturned. This um, Augusto Kinesha account is seemingly the, the, the source, best source of info on this at the moment. They're digging into the archives. unproductive labor or service economy has been around since before Marx's time. Why do you think that uh, an increase in service economy or unproductive labor is actually a critique of the theory? Uh, it, the, the thing is, you guys keep coming back with this a critique of the theory, and, and you're kind of assuming that any comment on a theory must be a full debunk of it. There are comments that you can do about a theory which relate to just how encompassing is it if you came to me with a physics theory and you, you would tell me jeff it's a physics theory but it only applies on mars uh between january and february and it only applies on mondays of every week i would tell you well you have a limited theory that's really all i'm saying uh you, your physics theory is limited if, if it only applies on mars on mondays and your labor theory of your your theory of value is limited if it only applies to a certain se sub segment of the economy that's all i'm saying i'm not saying it's a debunk of the entire theory i'm saying it's a legitimate common to say about theories that they have limited reach of explanation that is not an answer to the question, and that's not even a partial debunk. To All say right, well, server. get fucked! Get <laughs> fucked! All right, uh, I'm done with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> that That is not an answer to the theory. Uh, you have not proven to me that I'm wrong. Man, these guys are driving me fucking insane. It's like you can't have an actual discussion where they will... Engage with what you're really saying. Dude, I'm saying your stuff has limited applicability. It, it doesn't concern, uh, a, a, it doesn't concern a large part of the economy. That's like a pressure gasket going off, isn't it? Limited reach of explanation. That is not an answer to the question, and that's not even a partial debunk. To All say right, that well, server. get fucked! Get <laughs> fucked! All right, uh, I'm done with this guy. <sighs> what are the replies saying? The entire situation is ridiculous. JF is ultimately a good dude at heart. Him laughing and joking about RCMP investigating him for murder is really concerning. I mean, to be fair, I don't think they're investigating him for murder yet because they can't investigate for murder until they find she's dead, I would imagine. Like, at the moment, it's being treated as a missing person. 
they wouldn't start a murder investigation until they know the person is dead. But they probably got some theories and stuff. Over, I don't know. Who fucking knows? I'd imagine the police are probably speaking openly about it amongst each other and are probably like, yeah, this guy's a bit weird, isn't he? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Least literal self-incrimination. I mean, it came across that way. I don't know how else to interpret this other than it sounds like he's confessing to doing something wrong, but acting like, you know... You know, like when people try and outsmart the police and the authorities and they say a bunch of stuff and then it bites them in the ass. But yeah, obviously my serious head screwed on response is there's nowhere near enough information to accurately conclude anything about this. I mean, certainly the police aren't satisfied, otherwise they would have taken some further action. Um, but on an on a opinion-based level, it sounds like he's murdered that woman. <laughs> yes, it does. Absolutely. Of course he is. Yeah, of course he would be. He's the last person to see her alive. He says he dropped her off. And after like a lack of communication, he's not made any effort to report it further. Chris Watts. What was Chris Watts? Well, yeah, but there's no charge because there's no body. You can't charge someone for murder unless the body is found or there's some sign that they're dead i think I, I don't know how it works I'm not a legal expert or scholar okay but if someone is a missing person i'm pretty sure you can only proceed with like a murder investigation when the person's body is found because think when you have like people that are missing they just remain missing forever if they never get found right you don't need a body how would you know they're dead how would that work Preponder oh, a preponderance of evidence. Okay. Right, got you. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Well, like I said, I don't know what I'm talking about. So if I'm wrong on that, I'll take the L. But there'd probably need to be something, right? Like some some hard evidence of something happening. Like, say, a blood thing in a house or something. I don't know. You know, just him saying a bunch of crazy shit on stream probably isn't enough. Anyway, this could end up being a true crime episode. Anyway, look, it feels a bit tasteless, doesn't it? Someone's dead. Okay. People will get mad at me for shouting at actual information. That'll be the link in meme videos. Okay. Well, at the moment, I think it's being treated as a missing missing person situation. I think he's put out more statements. Oh my God, I didn't realize this. I didn't realize this. We're Twitter mutuals. We're Twitter. We're Look. We're pals. I forgot we're pals on Twitter. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. I mean, to be fair, he follows a lot of people, so. so okay, here we go. Society will not improve as long as people prefer to attribute guilt to innocent men rather than conceive of the possibility that poor female decision making does in fact exist. It is pretty wild to see people attacking me with the wildest impossible theories rather than accept the simple reality that our society is a problem of poor female decision making that it refuses to face. So here's the thing. In principle, in principle, yes, that is true. However, that doesn't normally come with a serving of a 30 minute video saying a bunch of stuff that a murderer would say. <laughs> Seems like he's kind of politicizing it to obfuscate. Also, bear in mind, the police have put out this statement as well. Like, the police would not be putting out statements unless they were, you know, they're taking it very seriously. Clearly, they're not taking this, oh, yeah, she went into the woods and disappeared and is now a survivalist take, particularly on the face value of it, are they? 
The algorithm that plays out in people's brains can be readily observed as it deploys itself in social media incentives. If something bad happens to a woman, find closest man, he's responsible. Most haters play this algorithm one way or another. The first layer attributes guilt for murder. A second, more subtle group, attributes guilt for not caring enough. But what is a man supposed to do in the face of a modern female who chooses to utter the words, I want to go? Well, the thing is, you would accept a woman wants to go, but there's a difference between being like, okay, you're moving out, you're finding your own place, you're standing on your own two feet doing that fine, and driving her somewhere and her disappearing into the woods for, for months. Like, what? <laughs> How many of the, those criticizing me today would be criticizing me for abuse and attainment had I not let her go? So it's these two extremes, isn't it? Either I need to restrain her and stop her from leaving. The alternative to that is I let her go and walk off into the wilderness. Like, no, you would go, okay, well, what's your plan? Oh, okay, I'm going to go do this, that, and the other. Okay, good luck to you. In the end, only a small group of people truly understand the fallacy of the whole algorithm presented above. The algorithm is simply incompatible with our own society's stance on individual female liberty and emancipation, which have been elevated to sacrosanct status. Here, we are playing with forces that the Bible had warned us against. Tell me what other reasonable conclusion there is to this that isn't that doesn't result in JF murdering this woman. So what we're supposed to believe then is that she wanted to leave and she she proposed so she proposed this idea of her being a survivalist. She purchased a bunch of survival equipment. You dropped her off. She went away into the woods. She then stopped electronic contact with you and others presumably. You made no effort to notify anyone. And she's able to evade the relevant authorities because of her skills as, as you put it, some sort of 007 agent. So you're claiming that she's got adequate skills to evade the Canadian state. And he doesn't seem to be concerned in any way about the fact that she's disappeared. I mean, it's possible, I guess, but like, I don't know. I feel like I've got to jump for a lot more hoops to believe that than just he, he killed that, that woman. And bear in mind as well, this is not a woman who is fully compass mentis. This is a woman who seemingly had some sort of mental disability. It's all extremely weird and suspicious. Canada as well, yeah. Canada's got very... Well... I'd, I'd imagine the feds must be looking for like signs because the thing is, is even if you were to scrub your house, scrutiny can often lead to, you know, certain evidences, can't it? How long does blood last? I don't know. I'm, I'm like going a bit like schizo mode with it. There's blood in the house somewhere. Do they have a warrant for his house? I presume they can get one. You know. Wife's gone missing. Last person to see her alive is the guy. Also, why would you, you know, as, as an individual, 
if you were suspected in the murder or disappearance of someone, why would you not want to do everything you could to, to clear your name? Like if someone was like, oh, Chud Logic is responsible for this person going missing. I'd be like, yeah, check me out. Go crazy. Like um, in cases where people go missing, they often, the people close to them, like they, they take action to eliminate themselves as a suspect just for the sake of, you know, peace of mind, right? But yeah, we'll watch that uh, Nicholas de Oreo video tomorrow. It'd be nice to watch a Nicholas de Oreo video, actually, that from his heyday. I don't know if I've ever done that before. I wouldn't let them into my house if I was a far-right anti-government advocate. But yeah, we've got, we've got a lot, I've still got lots of stuff to cover tomorrow. Got that stabbing to look at. That would be good. You can all have a good laugh at a uh, progressive getting killed. I don't have the link, but someone replied to the original tweet saying, you were the last person to see her, and his response was along the lines of, well, there's an electronic pings far away from me, so that will be a suspect. I would scroll down on his page, however, on stream. However, there's an image, an AI image of that dude that got stabbed, so I'm probably going to give that a miss. No worries. My whole life is electronically recorded. My home, is my home is covered in cameras. My every movement tracked. Don't let the trolls convince you of a narrative. Follow the professionals of the police force who knows what they're doing. I just, it comes across as someone trying to outsmart the police. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know I, you know, I'm going out on a limb here. Okay. This sounds like the kind of thing that someone who thinks they can outsmart the authorities. It kind of just adds up too nicely for me, you know? Um, you know, kind of this this shitty attitude towards the government, the federal government. Well, I, I'm torn because I don't want to just say something that is completely out there, but it's like there's so much here that makes it seem like, yeah. Here we go. This is what you were referring to, right? You were the last known person to see her since June. No, she has been traveling and leaving an electronic trace far from mine, so I do not expect to be a suspect in a disappearance. Leaving an electronic trace far from mine. How could he? How could he know that? Wait, how could he possibly know that's the case? There's a definite electronic trail, and it's really far away from me. I want to believe that this dude murdered someone, but also I don't want to get wrapped up in internet insanity. I'm trying to be cautious, but fuck me, this sounds like a depression. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I guess I guess there'll be further updates as we go. Now, I, I don't know, man. Look, anything I've said about him being a murderer is pure speculation, mainly off the back of feelings about it, okay? I know as much as you do, obviously, and I'm no fucking investigator or anything. Even regardless of what the truth of it is, it's it's an extremely unusual response to an investigation from the federal authorities into someone's disappearance. <laughs> well, yeah, Bug, that's my thinking as well. JF is absolutely the kind of sociopath to think he can get away with this and let it play out in public. I mean, you know, there's that one case that happened a little while ago where a guy murdered someone and to create an alibi for himself, he recorded a fake stream and then he broadcast a fake stream on his channel when he went and did the murder. So he had a video and he just broadcast a video via OBS or whatever program he used to a streaming channel. And at the start of the video, he goes, oh, I'm not going to respond much to the chat today because I'm kind of focused on the game. 
And um, yeah, it was a complete fabrication designed to create an alibi. <laughs> And yeah, I th th there's probably some tracking thing somewhere that shows that you're doing a video broadcast rather than an actual stream. So I don't know. They must have looked it up and found out it was fake. <laughs> 